Well, uh, my name is Dave Basulto, and I'm from San Gabriel, California. You are the inventor of Iographer, correct? I am the inventor of the Iographer. How do you think Iographer helps kids learn? Well, I think it lets you uh, use your iPads and iPhones more stably so you can make better videos and add microphones and do all kinds of great stuff so you can be creative. How do you think technology advanced from back then and now to help kids learn in schools? It was horrible when I was your age because we had nothing like that. I used to play in the dirt every day because there was nothing to do. But you guys can go out and make cool movies, uh, skateboards, or, or just anything you want to make. And now that you can do all that, who knows if you might become famous from a video you make. You never know, right? In your first couple years of teaching, what technology did you use? Well, so we used a lot of big cameras, so they were like that big. They were big over-the-shoulder stuff, and, but we only had five of them, so I started letting my students use iPhones and iPads. When you had to bring in computers, were they really big, or were they about the size now? Well, when I was younger, the computers were massive, and they weren't even as powerful as your iPhone. So now you have a small little thing like the iPad and it's like you can do everything you could possibly want to do on it, right? Yeah. How do you think Iographer can be used to do many different things from making movies or videos to helping kids with learning? Well, let's say you had to do a book report. So wouldn't it be cooler to do a book report where you're talking about the book and then you could put videos of maybe, maybe doing a little scene of something you're doing? and finding photos and doing editing it all on the iPad and iMovie. Now instead of a boring thing you have to just talk about, you've got a visual thing where you can see the whole book report, right? And now back then school didn't have any books because they were so expensive and now with technology you can just go on ebook or buy books online. It's so much better now because you don't have to carry a big backpack full of books and killing you. You can have everything right there on your, on your iPad. you ever taught or been a teacher before? Yes, I taught for 32 years in the New York City school system. Did they ever have technology like they do now or at least anything similar to it? Oh, when I taught they didn't have the technology that we have today. Uh, I had to bring my own computer into school, an Apple IIe computer, so I was able to get my students online. Since that was a while ago, were they really big or were they decently small like now? They were big. You had to carry around a monitor, the uh, CPU unit. It was really tough carrying all that stuff around. Now, it's in the palm of your hand. Isn't it amazing how technology is right there with you at all times? How do you think it affects students that when they have technology and when they don't? Uh, I think students should use a variety of methods in their learning. Technology is just one part of it. but. Everyone is connected today and students should also be connected. But they're also, what do you think is bad about technology that they can access now, now that they have it? I'm very concerned about uh, digital citizenship and uh, cyberbullying. So uh, I think parents and all teachers have to constantly go over proper usage of the internet with their children and with their students. your technology that you use can help kids learn in schools? I think right now one of the best things about technology is that it, it really helps the teachers to reach those students that may not be performing as high as some of the others and they're struggling with certain areas, right? And so there we have technology now where we can assign certain instruction just to those students that are really struggling and it helps them uh, learn better. Have you ever taught or have been a teacher before? Did they have technology like this when you were teaching, or was not that a long then. time ago? Yeah, not then. It was probably four years ago, and so they did have some technology, but not nearly the amount that they have. What did the technology that you had at that time period help them? How did it help them? Uh, back then we had things like an overhead projector, um, which they still have now, but they're, they're a lot cooler now, I think. Um, they had an overhead projector. We had, obviously, computers and things and programs for students, um, but now I think it's much more a part of the classroom than it was then.